we're finding the volume of pyramids and cones. So we need to find the volume of this triangular pyramid. Triangular pyramid? Triangular because the base is in the shape of a triangle. Pyramid because they all made up there at one point. So looking at your formula chart, volume of pyramid, you're gonna do the area of the base times height and divide that by three. So let's copy down the formula. Area of the base, and the base is a triangle, so base times height divided by two. So the base of the triangle right there, 14. The height of the triangle right there is 18. Divide that by two. 14 times 18 divided by two. So the area of the base is 126. The height of the pyramid right there is given, nine. Everything divided by three. Plug that in. So the area of this pyramid, I mean volume of the pyramid, is 378 cubic meters. Finding the volume of a cone, if you notice, the pyramid and the cone, they have the same formula. So copy the formula down, area of the base times height divided by 3. The base over here is a circle, so pi r squared. We're going to use 3.14 for pi. The radius is half of the diameter, so if the diameter is 44, half of 44 is 22 squared. So the area of the base is 1519.76. Height is given right there, 24. Plug it in. So the volume of this cone is 12,158.08 cubic meters. Cubic because we're talking volume. Last one. Now we have to work it backwards. We have a cone with that volume and then we're looking for the radius. Again, copy the formula down and V is given at this time. B is the area of the base. We don't know, but we do know is pi r squared. And we also know we're using 3.14 for the radius for the for pi. And height is given 2.4. Plug it all in the formula. I'm substituting B right there. So in the calculator, I'm going to plug in 3.14 times 2.4 divided by 3. 3.14 times 2.4 divided by 3.14 times 2.4 divided by 3. So now I have 2.512 r squared. Divide both sides by 2.512 because we're trying to isolate R. Nine point zero six three eight three two divide by 2.512. So 3.61. Now this is R squared and we're looking for R. So you take the square root of 3.621. 
1.9 feet. Now you can do IXLT5.